hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here today's video has a little bit of everything we are going to be doing lots and lots of cleaning but we are also going to be tackling some decluttering and some organizing I really wanted to get a handle on my kids clothes and just see what they are needing for the upcoming school year I know school pretty much just ended but I do like to stay on top of things and I do chip away at their back to school shopping when I see sales or just find things that they are needing or wanting so I am just going to take an inventory as I declutter out everything that no longer fits them and I was pretty far behind because I had quite a bit of stuff to give away and donate that they no longer fit. I am also going to be reviewing and sharing a new cleaning tool that I am really excited about. So I hope you all enjoy today's video, whether you are up cleaning along with me or maybe you are just sitting back and relaxing, getting some motivation for your upcoming day. I'm laying down at the So we are going to be starting things off today in the girls bedroom I just want to quickly get the bedroom tidied up before we start diving into their dressers and pulling all of the clothes out Whenever you are decluttering, I feel like the mess always gets worse before it gets better, so I do like to make sure I start off with a clean area. I also did want to quickly say thank you so much for all of the happy anniversary wishes that you guys sent our way in last week's video. We had such a good anniversary. We went out for dinner, and we ended up doing a movie after, and we very rarely, if ever, do the dinner and movie combo, so we got a good four hours out to ourselves well our kids were with my mom and it was just such a nice time to spend together we went to a quiet place day one and it was a pretty good movie I enjoy those spookier movies I really wanted to see the new twister movie I love a good natural disaster movie probably because we aren't really at risk for anything like that where I live but that one doesn't come out for a couple weeks so maybe we will be able to sneak off for another date night soon Holding in a bag full of good things I need a now I am just giving you a quick overview of the drawers I am wanting to work on. The main areas of concern were their pajama drawers and their pants and shorts drawers. So I'm going to start on Rowan's side and just go through all of her pajamas and see what fits and what doesn't and then just fold them up so I can put them back a lot nicer than they were currently in here. My girls love to pick their own clothes and pajamas at night but they tend to throw them just back into the drawer if they choose a different pair and they get very messy very quickly so I'm just going to reorganize everything make it look a lot better and everything that I am putting onto the bed off to the side here is what no longer fits I want to take a quick break from decluttering the girls clothes to talk about today's video sponsor which is Eureka. You guys know I am a big fan of Eureka and I have quite a few of their cleaning tools so I was really excited when they asked me if I wanted to try out the Eureka E10S. This is a self-emptying robot vacuum and mop combo and I am going to be sharing all of the features that make this a unique and amazing robot vacuum and 
and mop option. The first thing that I noticed and really liked was how compact the base station was for this machine. Some robot vacuums can have huge bulky stations and they just don't fit well in your home. So this was really nice to see. The setup was super quick and straightforward and the app installation was just as easy by scanning the QR code to download and following the on-screen instructions. One of my favorite features of this robot vacuum is that it does have a bagless self-emptying base station. This removes the need to empty the vacuum after every single use, which is so much more convenient. And with it being bagless, you are able to save time and money. Users are able to save up to $70 per year on dust bags, and the base station has a high capacity and can be left unemptied for up to 45 days. Instead of swapping out the dust bags, you just bring the bin over to the trash and with one click of a button, the bin will empty. This vacuum also comes with a HEPA filter and multi-cyclone technology, which helps separate the larger and the smaller particles that have collected in the dustbin, helping to prevent clogging and extending the life of your HEPA filter. Of course, one of the most important features is that it does have powerful suction power at 4,000 PA. This allows the vacuum to easily suck up any messes that may be around your home. It can deeply clean hard floors and carpet with dual spinning brushes to make sure it gathers all of the crumbs or hair and it does also include a mop pad to clean your hard floors. The vacuum will detect when it is going onto carpet and will automatically lift the mop pad to avoid getting your carpets or your area rugs wet. The mop feature can also easily clean wet messes like the spilled coffee. The E10S can also fit underneath a lot of furniture and cleans right up to the edges of your baseboards for a complete clean. Having the dual vacuum and mop design will save you so much time when it comes to cleaning your floors. The E10S does also have LiDAR navigation. It creates a detailed map in the app and uses this information to map out sweeping routes and it can also avoid obstacles. You are able to create multi-level cleaning, which is really cool. The E10S will recognize and map up to four floors and is also able to safely clean the nearby stairs area without falling down them. You are able to control your robot and fully customize your cleaning using the app. You can choose the wetness level of the mop, the suction power of the vacuum, you can clean by zone or room, and you can also create no-go zones and can set cleaning schedules. The Eureka E10S is powerful, has some really unique features, and is such a time saver when it comes to cleaning your floors. It is also at a really great price point and a much more affordable option than others on the market. I would highly recommend the E10S and make sure you use my link down below in the description box to shop. And a big thank you to Eureka for sponsoring today's video. I'm just giving you a quick overview of what her drawers ended up looking like and as you can see they are so much better and so much more organized and they are also half empty now. I do have a load of the girls laundry to do so these will fill up a little bit but they are so much better than they were before. Now we are going to move on to Quinn's side of the dresser and this girl has so many pairs of shorts. A lot of these were handed down to her from Rowan and she of course does get her own clothes as well but I was able to declutter a few of these because I think she had 27 pairs Patch up all the scars, yeah. but we smashed up all the parts. Oh, no, no, no. Always knew that you were stubborn, but didn't know it'd be so hard to figure out who you really are. Oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep. There's no passion in the comatose. Baby, going down, 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 down. Baby, going down, 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 down. We tried so hard to stay afloat. Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes. Baby, going down, 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 down. 
Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I just wanted to take inventory of what my kids had for clothes and jammies, and I am so glad I did. I assumed Quinn had a ton of pajamas, and as you can see in this drawer, it looks like she has a ton, but almost all of these she is sizing out of. She is getting to the point where 3T is no longer fitting her. She is needing 4T jammies, which is honestly absolutely insane to me I just cannot believe how quickly they are growing but it always looked like she had so many jammies in her drawer but going through them and actually looking at the tags and the sizes of them all it made me realize that she is going to be needing some new jammies very soon This is all of the stuff that I am donating or getting rid of and it was a lot more than I originally expected. I'm not going to be working on their closet today. I am going to leave that for another day but we are now going to be moving on to Gray's room. I am quickly just doing the same thing in here. I am wanting to get everything cleaned and dusted. I also was due to wash all of his bedding so that is what I am doing here and then we are going to be going through all of his clothes and dresser as well. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights Grayson is a big collector. He loves to collect pretty much everything, but he of course loves his Pokemon cards and his Pokemon stuff. You can also see he has a good collection of his stuffed animals. He has a bunch of Lego in here, so I'm not going to be doing too much in here because it is his closet and his space and he has it how he likes it, but I am just going to tidy it up a little bit and just make sure all of his clothes are hung up. Is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down Get up and start from the ground And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I, let me figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my high Say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down I clean my kids' rooms and dust their furniture every single week, but I honestly could not tell you the last time I dusted off Gray's Pokemon shelf. So I am going to be taking every single thing off of each shelf and giving this a really good dusting today. I will show you a close-up of the next shelf that I dust just to show you how dirty and dusty it was and just to show you how truly overdue this was it is just not something i remember to dust off like i said i go through their rooms and their furniture every week and for some reason this shelf totally slipped my mind <laughs> No one other than you who can 
I do get quite a few questions about this shelf and we actually made it ourselves. If you have not seen my bedroom makeover videos, I posted them last summer, so almost exactly a year ago. We did show how we made this. It was a lot of work and it was a little frustrating, but it was so worth it. We love it so much and Gray was beyond happy with it. I feel like it really ties the theme of the room together. When we were starting the process of the kids' bedroom makeovers, I was a little nervous when Gray said he wanted a Pokemon themed room. I did didn't want it to look childish and kind of cheesy if that makes sense. I definitely wanted it to be tasteful while still incorporating his Pokemon theme and I do feel like we accomplished that. I think we did a really good job making the theme quite obvious while still being a mature looking Pokemon instead of a kitty looking Pokemon if that makes sense. But I do think the shelf really pulls it all together. I will say Gray has a ton of clothes. He has lots of pants, lots of shirts, and lots of shorts, so he probably won't need too much for back to school. He, of course, is going to get to pick some new stuff because that is just part of the fun of going back to school is getting some new clothes, but there's really nothing he is needing, so he will probably get to pick some new shirts and maybe a pair of pants or two. He'll, of course, need new shoes and his backpack, but for the most part, we are covered on clothes. This is actually Quinn's first year going to school. She is going to be starting preschool this year. She is only going two days a week, but she is so excited to get in on the back to school shopping fun. She, of course, is going to get to pick her little backpack and lunch kit and all of that fun stuff, and she is very excited to be included. I cannot believe I'm going to have three kids in school. I know Quinn is in preschool, so it's not real school yet, but it is still going to feel surreal and I don't know if I'm ready. It's just, it's wild that I'm not going to have any babies home full-time with me anymore. I remember the day when we started talking. We were kids and I knocked down all of your marbles, but you did not seem to mind at all. We took our bikes to the after school each day and skip many stones from the beach and one thing you said was listen Now we are going to be moving on to the master bathroom and of course it's a mess in here. If you have been to my channel before, you already know this is one of my problem areas. I don't know what it is, but we cannot seem to keep this room looking presentable but I guess it makes for good content here on YouTube. So I am going to be cleaning up the floor first and then we're gonna go ahead and start working on the countertop. I have to put every single thing away and then we're going to deep clean the sink area. I also needed some new 
sink inserts. I don't know if that's what those would be called, but we have no drains in our sinks. <laughs> like I said, I don't know exactly know what everything is called, but I got some new inserts on Amazon and I am very excited to show you guys them. They are so easy and simple and I was able to install them myself, which is saying something because I am not good when it comes to installing pretty much anything. I know we're gonna stay like I was mentioning a few minutes ago, there is holes where my drain plugs would be and these are the inserts we purchased off of Amazon. I think the two pack was honestly like $16 and they are just little push to close them and they just sit right in the drain. I honestly was very skeptical of these. I didn't think these would work. I assumed the water would easily run down into the drain, but these work so well and I love that I can just pick them up to clean them and then just place them right back down. There is a little metal contraption to catch all of the hair and just keep everything from running down the drain. These have worked so well. We've been using them for about a week and I would highly recommend them. I will link them down below if I can find them, but highly recommend because these are so simple and very easy to keep clean. to myself now and then i'll try to laugh but i'll cry a bit as well i was never any good at being away from you i met you in the summer when you left it was cold i feel like i can't have a good cleaning day without cleaning my kitchen and dining room areas as well and as you can see it was very much needed it was an absolute disaster in here so this is the next area that we are going to be tackling I also am going to be able to wake up to a nice clean kitchen and that is always the best feeling. I used to always be so good at making sure I completed my nightly reset which was my nightly cleaning checklist that I did every single night but I feel like I am so exhausted by the time 7.30 rolls around. I am practically useless. My kids go to bed at 7.30 every night. Gray is starting to stay up till 8 because he is getting a little older, but like clockwork, they are always ready for bed at that time, and honestly, so am I. Justin and I will sit down on the couch and just watch a show or watch a movie, or sometimes I'll read my book, and we are pretty much useless 
by that time. I have not done my nightly reset in honestly what feels like forever and I really need to get back in the habit of it because it just feels so much better and so much more rewarding to relax at the end of the night once you do tackle the few things that you like to have done. So I'm going to try to get back into it. It has been pretty much ever since we had Quinn that I just feel like I have zero energy left by the end of the day. If you want somebody else, who am I to touch? I met you in the summer When you left, it was cold Said we loved one another Guess that we were wrong I met you in the summer Our love was out of control I've been going crazy without you I'm so alone If you are not yet following me over on Instagram, I would love for you to head over there and follow me on that platform as well. It is just at Leah Martins on Instagram and I do have it linked down below in the description box. And if you are still watching and made it to this point of the video, thank you so much for being here and watching the entire video. Your support truly means the world to me. Leave me a heart emoji down below in the comments so I know that you made it to this point and I truly cannot thank you all enough. kitchen ended up being the very last thing I got done this day. It was such a beautiful day and we decided to go for a family bike ride after we ate supper. So that was all I accomplished, but I feel like it ended up being a very productive day. I really hope you all enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up down below. Subscribe if you are new and a big thank you again to Eureka for sponsoring today's video and don't forget to check out the E10S down down below using my link in the description box. I do think I am posting Tuesday next week so be on the lookout for that. Make sure your notifications are turned on so you are notified when I post and I will see you then. Bye guys.